Hello, Peter Richardson here from Counterpoint Research, and I want to talk to you today about the impact of uh, Mr. Trump's tariffs on the extended reality sector. I'm talking to you on the 14th of April, um, and in the last few days, the U.S. administration has paused tariffs, uh, albeit there are still 20% so-called fentanyl tariffs in, in, in place, but they've paused tariffs on a range of electronics goods, including smartphones, PCs, and um, presumably the extended reality products as well, including smart glasses such as the Meta Ray-Bans. And it's those that I really wanted to talk about because um, it's the one part of the extended reality market that is seeing quite a bit of traction. Uh, elsewhere, we're seeing something of a, an extended reality winter. But I think the this pause in the, in the tariff imposition gives the industry time to reflect and think about how they can uh, best uh, work around some of the tariffs that are still likely to be imposed. But I'll leave you with this thought that, I mean, the most important thing to realize is that over 90% of extended reality products are manufactured in China, but over 50% of consumption happens in the USA. So it's a, a sector which uh, stands to be very significantly impacted should these tariffs be reimposed. But let me now hand off to my colleagues around the world to talk about uh, the impact on the sectors that they cover. Thanks.